The Feast of St. Alban the Martyr. Almighty God, you conferred on your holy martyr Alban such love for the mercy of Christ that he gave his life to save a hunted Christian. Grant us, after his example, to be so faithful in our confession of your gospel that we may shelter those who flee from persecution and bear the reproaches which threaten their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you, welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me, welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. The Gospel of Christ Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, dear friends in Christ, a most blessed patronal feast to you. Today is the feast of our patron saint, Alban. Alban, the first British martyr, who, even though he was a Roman soldier, sheltered a priest who was fleeing for his life, and having given refuge to this man, observing him, learned from him the faith, the faith for which he had risked his life, and that risk, that willingness, so impressed Alban that he converted, took up the faith himself, was baptized by that priest, taught the faith, and had so absorbed its teaching that when it was discovered that the priest was in Alban's house, and Alban's fellow soldiers inevitably came knocking at the door, Alban switched clothing with the man, answered the door in the robes of a priest, and allowed himself to be arrested in the priest's place. Dragged to the local magistrate, he was offered the chance to recant his new-minted Christian faith. But he refused, saying, I am Alban, and I believe in the true and living God who created all things. He was then executed, becoming Britain's first martyr. Now, on his feast day, the Church asks us to regard his reception of the runaway priest, his welcoming of that man into his home, giving him shelter and giving him protection. The Church asks us to regard that act in light of Jesus' words, whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. What welcome do we offer one another? What shelter do we offer to those who are in trouble? What help do we extend to those in need? These actions are not in themselves the Christian faith. They are, however, a good measure of how deeply we have ingested that faith, how much it has become a part of us, or, in Alban's case, what potential we have to be Christ-like in the world. And so, on this feast day of this great martyr, Let us meditate on our own response to those who are in danger, to those who are persecuted, to those who are hunted for their beliefs. How do we receive them? It is a question well worth asking, because today, around the world, more martyrs are made every year 
than were made during the entirety of the Roman persecution in the early church. Do we have the courage of Alban? Do we have the hospitality of Alban? Do we have the faith of Alban? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.